Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're going to continue to look at our final review for our geometry course. We are still working through that PDF full of questions that you will see on your spring final exam. So let's jump into another problem here. We are on question number six. It says a solid with a volume of 26 inches, probably should have a cubed up there, it's a little typo, was enlarged to create a similar solid with a volume of 702 inches cubed. What is the linear scale factor between the two solids? Wow, this question might seem tricky to you. There's not a lot of information here, but we know the two volumes of these solids. So I have, I'm just gonna draw like a random shape here. And I'm just gonna draw, I don't know if this um, shape looks like a cube, but I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a little cube just for this problem so I can like visualize it. You know what I mean? So I know that this guy here is the smaller one and I'm gonna say that this guy has a volume of 26 cubic inches. And then I know it's enlarged. So it's enlarged to create another similar solid Okay, there's my similar solid there. Okay, whoops, that was a terrible line. Um, a similar solid, and that is gonna have a volume of 702 inches cubed. And they wanna know what is the linear scale factor? Well, linear scale factor has to do with what am I multiplying my sides by to enlarge the shape, right? I don't know what this side length was. I don't know what this new one is. But I know that it's enlarged by some number. I'm multiplying by something to create that new larger solid. But all I know is that our volume went from 26 and then it increased to 702 inches cubed. Well, you know what? I can find out what that was multiplied by, right? I can figure out what I multiplied 26 by. I just gotta get a calculator and I gotta type in 702 divided by 26 if I do that, look right there, I see that it was multiplied by 27. So really what that means is, is that our volume scale factor, I'm going to write this out for you, the volume scale factor is 27. That is the volume scale factor. That is what the volumes were multiplied by. But I don't care about the volume scale factor, I care about the linear scale factor. But to figure out what the sides are multiplied by, it's actually gonna be using that volume scale factor. Because to get our volume scale factor, whatever this linear scale factor is, all we have to do is cube it. We cube it and it gives us our volume scale factor. So if I know that the volume one is 27, I kinda gotta go backwards, right? I gotta figure out what is the cube root of 27. What times itself three times is gonna give you 27? Well, we have a calculator for that. I just have to go ahead and click this little button here. Whoops. And I want to find the third root or the cube root of 27 and look right there. Our linear scale factor ends up being three. I know that because the volume scale factor was multiplied by 27 which is the same thing as three cubed. All righty, y'all, you did good with this one. This was a little tricky, but you did good. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.